Now we will learn measurement deviation. Why should I learn it? Why will I do this? Tell me. Suppose I am having, I am having one, one liter of cold drinks or not cold drinks. This is a junk food. I don't want to like that. Suppose one liter juice. I know all of you like it, isn't it? Now one liter juice you are having, and four of you have gathered together to do New Year party. Okay, so each one of you, how much juice will you get? Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. How will you do? How will you solve these kinds of problem? So whenever you are with these kinds of problem, you need to solve it using the division problem. Isn't it? That one liter of juice you want to divide equal into four of your friends. So, how will you do it? We will learn that kind of problems. We are here to solve that kind of problems. Okay? So, let's start with that example. Only. One liter divided by four. Now, that is very confusing. One liter divided by four. So, I can write it down. Division, I can write it down easily in the fraction form. So that is 1 by 4 and you need only, I need to write it down aside. Okay, so 1 liter divided by 4. I haven't got the solution yet. That is each one of your friend will get 1 fourth liter. That's fine. But how much is that one fourth liter? So, I can easily convert it into, um, suppose here in place of 1, if I am multiplying it by 10 and divided by 4 as it is, then liter multiplied by 10, which unit will I get? Yes, deciliter. Deciliter. Okay. But 10 is not divisible by 4. So let us try to do it by 100. Okay. So if I am doing it by 100, then the unit will be deci and after that what? Centiliter. You are absolutely correct. Okay. Or if I am multiplying it by 1000, then I will get it as what will I get which unit? Yes, milliliter. Okay, milliliter. So now I can do the reduction, fraction reduction that okay. So two and here it is one. So, 250 ml. Okay, or if I have written till 100, then also it is okay. Or it can be written as 25 centiliter. Okay, but why have I done milliliter? Because milliliter, last day I have shown you that how much is uh, 250 milliliter. And milliliter is very commonly used unit in our daily life. That's why I have preferred milliliter. But no matter. If you want to multiply it 1 into 100 and you can keep it till centiliter, then also it is fine. Okay. So, each one of your friend will get 250 milliliter of juice. Virtually, I have drank it. As nowadays we are in online mode. Isn't it? That's why I have done it. I have drank it virtually. Okay, when we will meet, we will do it in face-to-face -face manner. Okay, promise. Okay, another way we can do it. Now see. 
वन लीटर डिवाइड बाय फोर ओके नाउ वन मीन्स व्हाट वन मीन्स वन पॉइंट जीरो ओके नाउ आई एम प्रेसिंग दिस पॉइंट टू सो फास्ट वन डिवाइडेड बाय फोर नथिंग इज गोइंग देन आई एम प्रेसिंग दिस पॉइंट हियर देन आई कैन कंसीडर इट एस टेन देन फोर टू इज अप एट we have done this decimal division okay like this i have got it as 2 then 1.0 can be written as 1.00 then this zero is coming down okay that is 20 <clears throat> or okay here it was the unit was 1 liter hmm? 20 so Four five five twenty. Okay, so point two five liter. Okay, so just like the addition, subtraction, multiplication, we have done the smallest unit. What unit was written? That unit we have written in the uh, answer. So here after division, I have got the answer as the quotient. So here. That's why I have written this liter in the quotient. So one liter divided by four is equals to zero point two five liter. Zero point two five liter, and you can check it that zero point two five liter is nothing but twenty five centiliter. Okay, or Zero point two five zero liter. Also, you can write it down, which is nothing but two hundred fifty milliliter. Okay, so these are two ways of doing this division sum. Okay, so how to do it? We need to we need to write down the smallest unit at last, and then do the division. And in the quotient, write down the unit. That's all. okay we'll meet in the next video with another example till then revise this one once more and one more thing you need to do i know at all of your home there is that 250 ml uh, container okay search it and take four times that 200 into that 1 liter bottle check it By pouring four times of the two hundred fifty ml, is the one liter bottle fulfilling or not? I will take the answer during the online class. Okay, we'll see you soon. Bye bye.